Google proxy. The public interest is strong. Market confidence is high. I've spoken with my people in New York. Our ghost will be ready to activate when the moment comes. And the research? The trials are complete, yes? We're close, but we need more time. Explain. The tests have yielded excellent results during this phase. But the effects vary. With more time, we can ensure the mechanism will work exactly as required. And told us the latest batch was ready for release. All of our plans depend on your provision. Delays are unacceptable. To get the data we require, the testing regimen will need to be increased. We can see to that in Panama. You'll have what you want. Are we at risk? Our new recruit is ready, but he is unstable. And the scientist? Under control. He'll do what he's told. What about the two that got away? Missing. Presumed dead. They interfered in Geneva. That cannot happen again. If they come out of hiding, I'll kill them myself. Returning now to our main story. The global shortage of neuropazine is making life difficult for augmented people everywhere. Pharmaceutical giant Versalife, sole manufacturer of the anti-rejection drug, has suffered multiple setbacks in recent months, slowing the company's ability to meet demand. Anna, what's wrong? You're unsteady. I'm fine. As good as can be expected. Are you skipping your meds? I know you're not sleeping. Come on, talk to me. It doesn't matter. The clock is ticking, Ben. You know they're out there looking for us. And it's only a matter of time before he finds out where we're hiding. He won't find us here. We can't just sit here waiting. If we had enough information, proof of what they're doing, we could expose them. Conspiracies thrive in the darkness. But if we could shine a light on them, so bright it would make it impossible for them to operate. Two against the Illuminati. You'll never expose the tyrants. They just cover their lies with more lies. They work in the shadows, it's what they're good at. I know, because I used to be one of them. The only way to stop them is to wipe them out. What happened to you, Ben? Before Geneva? What was it like to be a tyrant? What did you see? Tell me about him. I couldn't tell where the man ended and the machine began. His name is Jaron Lemire, commander of the tyrants, a covert black ops unit. I was working for the Bell Tower PMC. Namir rescued me from a mission that went bad. Operation Rainbird, right in the heart of the Australian Civil War. I lost my entire team out there. We were shot down. Only two of us survived the crash, me and Sam. Corporal Sam Duarte. But Sam died before they came. I had nowhere else to go. Namir recruited me. My first mission with the Tyrants was in Moscow. The target was a Russian minister. They said he was in bed with a cyber warfare hacker group. They said he was the one responsible for Operation Rainbird. Namir gave me a chance for revenge. Activate the wet drive. Call up the primary target. Remember that face, Ben. This is the man responsible for the deaths of your former team. You are to terminate him with extreme prejudice. For Sam and the others. All call signs, check in. This is blue, ready to roll. Gray here, let's go. White, I'm already in position. Red, follow me. Go now. From this moment on, use code names and sub-vocal communication only.
You can look in any direction by using the mouse. You can invert your look controls. You can move in any direction by using the W, A, S and D keys. You can hold the shift key to walk. Check for stragglers. Gray, with me. Get into cover. Whoa, I hear someone coming. There's in your mother's ass out here. Step right. You're like. Does it even me? It means you can go into cover by getting what you think it means. You can go into cover by getting near a cover object and using the right mouse button. While in cover, you can move left and right. You use the mouse to allow. That last bloke was Bradford, Russian Mafia. They all are. Keep up! You can perform a takedown. Where's Red? Oh, she's around. Great! Deny their communications. You can interact with objects in the world by placing your crosshair on them and pressing the E key. Everything that can be used... Done. Target comms are dead. Ready. Get that hatch open. <laughs> Insertion. Go. Once a weapon has once a weapon once a weapon has been assigned once a weapon has been assigned to a quick slot you can hold down the one
Once a weapon has been assigned to a... I've got company. Go tactical. Eliminate all threats. Energy cell. You can utilize. Proceed and stay alert. You can open a. There are attachments and upgrades of it. There are attachments.
A group of... Administrator has been locked up for days. How much... Take out the guard. Going to be unavailable. Kontarski's rooms are up ahead. The target must be close. He could be shielded from thermographic scan. It's a decoy.
Hold down the right bumper. Stand by, Gray. We're coming to you. Isolate and neutralize the target. Augmentations are assigned to quick slots and can be activated at any time. These augmentations consume energy whenever they are used. Activate the glass shield cloaking system and pass through the laser gate undetected. Augmentations are assigned to quick slots and can be activated.
Don't move. Please, you must not stop me. He's here to kill you, Mikhail. You told me I would have more time. Please, I have to finish what I started or- Touch that console and it'll be the last thing you ever do, Minister. Mikhail, this is bigger than you. We need the data on the killing floor and the tyrants. You must complete the upload. That's enough from you, pal. No. No, not yet. It's over. You're not here to arrest me. You're not a policeman. What authority do you have? Please, I beg of you, do not kill me. I only did what I thought was right. This man is not a criminal. You cannot judge him. Save it. You're part of a global terror network. The people you sold out to are responsible for the deaths of my men. Operation Rainbird. You know that name? You know what happened out there? That was my squad you sacrificed. They were soldiers, doing their jobs. It wasn't even their damn war, but you gave us up to the enemy. You're going to answer for what you've done. Are you watching this? Because we're coming for you next. No! No, no, no! That's not true! I'm not a terrorist! I, I've never even heard of this Operation Rainbird! Please, Janus, help me! Do you know what you are doing, mercenary? Do you know what master you serve? You are being lied to. They cannot afford to have you learn the truth. They are using your desire for revenge to control you. Janice is right. I don't know anything about your men. You must believe me. I do not want to die. No more lies. You'll pay for what you did. Uh, no! Please! Oh. Target has been exterminated. All units, exfiltrate now! I killed Kantarsky. I did what Namir told me to like a good soldier. But you didn't know the truth. He used me. And I let it happen. He took advantage of my weakness because I was blinded by revenge. How did you find out that Namir was lying to you about Kuntarsky and Operation Rainbird? After Moscow, I knew something was wrong. I started looking where I wasn't supposed to. The tyrants operate from a mobile base, a jetliner fitted with stealth gear. That's where I found the intel, on Namir's computer. What did you find, Ben? It's really important. Try to remember every detail you can. We were flying at night, across the North Atlantic. We were in the middle of a storm. I waited until the debrief was complete, made sure the others were out of the way. I took the opportunity to look around. got into the control center and forced access to Namir's computer. He used a program called The Killing Floor to get his orders.
orders from where? I'm not sure, but I found the recon report for Operation Rainbird. Two versions of it. One which said our flight path was safe, clear of drone activity, and another which told the truth. We were sent straight into a kill zone. Katarski had nothing to do with it. Namir set you up. I had to find Namir to find out. I want you to tell me the truth about Operation Rainbird. Kontarski was never involved, was he? You used me to kill him. You're a very good soldier, Ben, but there's something you lack. Enlighten me. You can't see where the line is. You don't know how to compartmentalize yourself. You're not willing to make that sacrifice. That's what we have to do. Put up walls around the parts of our souls we want to keep sacrosanct. Barriers to protect our humanity. We're killers, Ben. It's what we're best at. Is that what you do? You're one man in here with us. Out there you're someone else. An assassin, a liar. That's not something to be proud of. That's a pattern of psychosis. You're very good at what you do, Ben. But inside, you're weak. You can't let go. I thought that might change after what happened in Australia. I had hopes. You were part of that. I want you to think very carefully about what you say next. Because this is the most important choice you will ever make. What happened in Moscow? That was not a test of your character or your loyalty. This is the test. This is what will define who you are and your future with the Tyrants. Do you understand? I need to know if you can be like me, like the rest of us. Like you. You don't hide your humanity, Namir. You just tell yourself you do. But you lost it a long time ago. You and Barrett, Fedorova, and the others. You're just a weapon that thinks like a man. That's a shame. I really wanted you to understand. I hate to see great potential wasted. Tell me what you did. I want the truth. I wish I could make it clear how lucky you are, Ben. Recruitment into the Tyrants is not a reward that just anyone is given. You were on our radar for a long time before I came to you in Australia. I gave you the opportunity to be something greater. The falsified mission data. You had it substituted for the real thing. How? We have assets inside the Bell Tower Corporation. It wasn't difficult. Those men in your squad... They were a hindrance to you. They had to be sacrificed. It was your trial by fire. If you had perished there in the desert alongside them, then you had no place with us. But if you came out alone... I tried to save him. Sam Duarte. I could have saved his life. He was expendable. They all were. I gave the order to sabotage Rainbird because I needed to know if you were willing to live back. If you had the courage to survive. You heartless fucking bastard. Survivor's guilt. The psychological profile said that was all I needed to control you. But these things are so hard to determine. I'm pleased. I could prove you wrong. The fall from the jetliner really did a number on your neuro hub. I can't believe I had to reconfigure it. 
All the progress you've made with your augmentations. Lost. I'll be fine. I've already started relearning the basics. I'll be using my augmentations at full strength in no time. I suppose so. Still, it's a miracle that you survived. You and me both. You did as much to hurt them as I did. But they're still looking for us. And the moment we stick our heads up, we'll be spotted. They're after us because they're afraid of what we know. We can expose them, Ben. We can get justice, not just revenge. I know that, Look, What's your plan? We've got pieces of the puzzle. We just need to put them back together. Think back to what you found on the plane. Mir said he had assets in Bell Tower, the private military contractor. That's where he found me. So they're embedded in the world's biggest private military contractor. This gets better and better. Operation Rainbird went down in Queensland. It was a strike mission, part of the Australian oil conflict. And Namir was there to pull you out of the ashes. Exactly. He had everything in place. So we know the tyrants have major assets in Australia. That's a start. I've been scanning the net, looking at Glass Curtain, Conspiracy Crew, all the activist groups. They talk about the tyrants. They have profiles, but no one takes them seriously. You think people will listen to us? Ben Saxon broke down squaddy. Anna Kelso, federal agent turned fugitive. There's always someone who will... listen. <laughs> Anna! Damn it! Where are your meds? Where's the neuropathy? Ben! Help me. The seizures... I can't. It hurts. And I know why. We're almost out. Without a supply of new pods, this will happen more often. Our augmentations will malfunction. Janice is supposed to find us a new source, right? I don't trust anyone else. I haven't spoken to our hacker friend in months. Then I guess we might have to tough it out for a while. No. I'm not going to put you at risk. I'll contact Janice now.
scared away competitors, but the new initiative. That's all about the Dr. Timmon. Janus, are you out there? Hello, Benjamin. It's been a while. Are you and Miss Kelso safe? For now. But Anna's sick. I mean, we both are. We're running out of neuropazine. You're not the only ones. The neuropazine shortage is getting worse. Augmented people everywhere are suffering. Can you help us? It might be time to start looking for alternatives, Benjamin. An alternative to neuropazine? I don't have any sources that can supply you directly. The risk of exposure is too great. You're gonna have to pay a visit to the doctor. I can't go to a limb clinic. If I use any official channels, they'll track me down, and Anna and I will be on the run again. I understand that. I have a contact for you. An underground doctor who operates in Panama City. His name is Alvarez Araujo. He may be able to help. Tell me about this guy, Alvarez. Can I trust him? His past is shady. He used to be a doctor, but now he operates in the slums. It seems he has something of an altruistic streak. The poor and desperate turn to him when they can't get help elsewhere. I know how they feel. I may need to upgrade my augmentations. I don't know what kind of trouble I might get into out there. You'll need a Praxis kit for that. But your mechanical augmentations can be enhanced at any time if you have one. And you won't have to blow your cover visiting a limb clinic for an upgrade. Panama's a dangerous place. I'm gonna need some equipment, some protection if I'm going there. The city is rife with black market contacts. Providing you have the money, They'll be happy to sell you what you want, and it won't be traced back to you. Okay. I can take the maglev line straight into the city, and then I'll track down our man. Thank you, Janus, for everything. You'll pay me back one day. People always do. Good luck, Benjamin. What did he, or she, um, I mean, what did Janice say? I'm gonna see a contact in Panama City. The maglev train leaves in an hour. You're going out there? I should come with you. No, it's too risky for us to go out together. You stay here, stay safe. This place is off the grid, no one knows about it. You know me. I'm not exactly good at doing nothing. Then don't. You still got contacts you trust, right? Use them. See what you can dig up about Namir and the Tyrants. And what about you? Who's gonna keep you safe if I'm not around? Don't 
worry. I'll keep a low profile, be discreet, and only use force when necessary. All right, Ben. Stay in contact on the info link. Tell me what you see out there, any clues you find. I'll do the same from this end. And promise me one thing. Name it. Don't get yourself killed. We've only got each other now. Anna, do you read me? I'm in Panama City. How does it feel to get back into the world? A breath of fresh air, huh? I wouldn't exactly call it fresh. Just try not to draw attention to yourself.